Hey YouTube, so I'm back. Sorry it's been a while. I got a job and I've been doing other things, so my YouTube channel's kind of taken a back seat. But I'm back today with another tutorial on how to make a mushroom hat. So stay tuned. So to get started, you're gonna need a big bit of cardboard depending on how big you want the hat. And what I did was just cut a circle into it. So I've got a big bit of cardboard like this. Um, sorry, it's got glue on it. I've been jumping ahead and done some paper mache already on my actual hat, but I'm just gonna show you this part because I skipped this part for the video. So here we go. Um, just cut in a circle shape. Um, the way I did it, I just kind of take it and I do it rough because you'll go in and fix up the shape later. So I just carry on cutting a circle shape. Put those bits to the side. So yeah, I've kind of got my circle shape now, as you can see, and don't worry about these two lines because we actually kind of need them to make the point in the hat. So just cut up a little bit to the center. You want to leave the center quite big. And then what I did was take, take it at an angle and cut in. So as you can see, Kind of like an angled piece has come out and I did that in four different places so I did it this side and then I went up on a side here Keep cutting into it, not too much, but just enough so that when you flip it over, you can pull it round like so. And as you see, it makes a point in the hat. I don't know if you can see very well. But yeah, you want to do that in four different places. One, two, three, four. And then you pull them together. I'll show you. You want to pull them together. and sellotape them as you go and super glue them and but first of all before you do that you want to kind of trample on it on the cardboard and press it down so it's more malleable to work with otherwise it's just going to be stiff you need it very flexible so it doesn't snap too much before you start tying it up but then you want to literally super glue it and to make the headband to stick in the actual hat once you've made your shape and it's all secure, you want to just cut some cardboard um, and make it malleable by scrunching it up, making it pliable. And then you just want to measure it around your head. It's too big for me, so I'm just going to cut that in half. It's got two bits. Put it round and with the other bit, make it longer, glue it, sellotape it, and make it secure so that it fits on your head, like so, and that is tight. And then, once you've done that, you want to glue it into uh, glue it into the actual hat. So, I kind of skipped this part because I got excited and started making the hat already. 
Um, this is what mine looks like at the moment. I've done my first layer of paper mache. Oh, it's coming along great. I really like it. Um, that's kind of what it looks like on at the moment. I wanted mine quite big. And that's a kind of rough idea so you can see. Um, we'll put that back down. So yeah, once you've got your shape of the hat, of the cardboard, and it's all securing in place with staples, glue, sellotape, you can start your paper mache process. So the next step is paper mache. To do that, you will need some PVA glue and a tub of water. Now, how I do mine is I mix mine two parts water with one part glue and then just give it a good stir. Um, make sure it's quite thick. Um, and yeah, then it's time to get sticking. And then once you've gotten the paper mache all around and all done, it's the last little piece I'm putting on for today. I'm just going to put it on the top. And I like to get my hands really in it, so I'm just going to kind of go around and put my hand in a glue. Um, and just give it a good rub down. Make sure it's quite gluey. I did have a paintbrush somewhere, but I'm using my hands. And then leave this beauty out to dry. And just make sure it's all secure. Yeah. And then there we go, that's the paper mache part done. This is what it looks like at the moment. That's what it looks like underneath, so you've got a rough idea. Yeah, I'm excited, I love it. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Hey YouTube, so it's been a couple of days and all of the paper mache is done. I've done four coats on the top and four coats on the bottom. I've started painting it, so I started filming because I got carried away. Um, at the moment, we're doing the first coat of white paint underneath, um, under, and then above. But I'm going to do the bottom first and let it dry, and then flip it around so I can do the top either later or tomorrow. So yeah, um, that's what I'm going to do this weekend. I'm just going to film it for you and add it in um, so you can see. Thank you. It's acrylic paint and a paintbrush and I'm literally just going around and painting. I'm doing it quite rough because I know that I'm going to put multiple coats on. Um, I'm, I want it quite white and quite well done. Um, so it all merges when I put the gills in underneath. Yeah. Right, hey guys, so the bottom is done. I put three coats of white paint on that and now I'm gonna start on the top. Hey, so I've double paint, well, I've triple painted the top and the bottom. This is what it looks like now. This is what it looks like on. Actually love it. It's given me a lot of joy and um, yeah, the whole process has been really fun. So. This is the shape that I wanted. This is where I'm at. The next step is to put the 
underneath bits in the gills and then paint the top red and orange with the little white spots so yeah this is what it looks like this is where we're at and now the next stage is the gills so let's start for the gills i'm using muslin this is my muslin um, i'm going to just cut it into strips and glue it in i've got a glue gun which is just heating up and um, lots and lots of glue sticks. I bought these off Amazon, really cheap, but they work and it's great. So it's just a matter of letting the glue gun get hot and then gluing in the strips of muslin. So for the first step of the gills, I've just grabbed the edge of the muslin and I'm going to measure roughly how long it is from the biggest part around the hat so I'm just going to hold it there to there so I can get a rough idea of how the angle I need to cut it so I'm going to cut it kind of like from there so it's got a bit of extra length and then cut it in a diagonal ish like that like so kind of like a like a stalactite so it will fit in there perfectly and then we'll hang like that that's kind of the rough idea so it's a bit hard to see but i'm just putting a little bit of glue across the hat and then i'm just going in afterwards and literally sticking the muslin on like so, sticking it on so it's properly in the glue. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the inside here just to hold the top in. Keep that down. Careful because the glue is hot. And just repeat that whole process for the whole way around. Trying not to get glue everywhere. So yeah, that's my first gill done. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's in there. And I'm just going to repeat that whole process. Okay, so this is where we are so far. Gills. So this is where, it, this is what it's looking like underneath. I'm pretty excited about that. Hey YouTube, so I got a bit excited and started painting the top, um, but I just remembered and it's dried, so I've put on the camera to record the next process. This is where we're currently at. This is what it looks like from underneath. That's what it looks like from on top so far. I don't know if I'm gonna keep these bits, these dangly bits. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about them yet. Kind of like it. it looks a bit ripped, but then I'm not sure. I'll see at the end. I'm going to paint the top red now. I've just put a, one coat of this orange on because um, I'm going to do it in parts to build up the colour. Um, and so, yeah, 
here we go. So just got this paint going in and just gonna swirl it right around like that. And just paint. Hey YouTube, so I haven't been on for a while. Um, I wanted to just show you my hat. I finished it. What I did carrying on from the last scene is painted it another layer of red. I took it over the edge and around about an inch. I cut off the excess muslin and then just glued it down and painted white over it. Um, I needed to paint a little bit of white here, but I'm just messy, so don't watch that. Um, I put some muslin, I glued some muslin in to wrap round um, just for safety because I found that I lost a bit of uh, width around the actual hole where um, where I was tying so much muslin and the paper mache it kind of, I didn't allocate enough room for my head so it kind of wobbles a little bit I wanted, if I were wearing it out I wanted to make sure that I can safely keep it on um, so yeah this is the end result I also put the white spots on the top, which I just used texture paste, white texture paste. You can pick up from any art supply store. Um, yeah, so this is it. Probably took me about three weeks, maybe a month on and off. Um, I wasn't working on it every day. I had to let things dry a lot. Um, the longest part was probably the paper mache and the gills underneath. That took forever. Um, but I'm loving the end result. I think it's great. I'm really happy if I go raving or if I go to a fancy dress party then I'll wear it but yeah this is what it looks like this is the end result and I've got to say I'm a I'm a fun guy <laughs> so yeah I hope you enjoyed watching and thank you very much can't wait to see you for my next tutorial whenever I make one and whatever ideas I have but yeah Sending you lots of love and good vibrations and take care guys. Thank you for watching. If you need any help with any, any questions, just pop them in the comments and I will get back to you if you endeavour to make one of these. So, yeah. Thank you very much.